So, well, ladies and gentlemen, when doing these types of problems, all right, what they're asking us to do here is they want us to write the equation given the foci and the vertices, all right? So, first thing we need to do, what I just went over, as I talked about, we have two different formulas for a hyperbola, right? We had the x over the a, and then we had the y over the a. So we need to determine which formula we're going to write the equation for. So the first thing to do is to make sure you plot your information to determine, are you going to have a transverse axis that's horizontal or vertical? So let's plot the information we're given. All right, so we're given a foci at 8, 0, and negative 8, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's our two foci, right? Then they say our vertices are at 6, 0 and negative 6, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's our two vertices. Now, what else lies on our uh, transverse axis? The foci, the vertices, and the center. So remember, the center is midway between our two vertices, and the center is also midway between our two foci, right? So you can see the midpoint of both of those points is going to be 0, 0. All right. So remember, what the center, the foci, and the vertices all lie on is our transverse axis. So is this axis horizontal or vertical? Yeah. Horizontal. So now that we know it's horizontal, we know the formula that, huh? We're going to use the horizontal formula, exactly. Sure. What do you want me to just repeat? Because remember, remember, on a hyperbola, it opens out. Exactly. So we have the formula is x minus h squared minus y minus k squared, because it's always a squared minus your b squared. All right? So since it's horizontal, remember the x is over the a. All right? All right, so now we need to go back and remember what all of our terms are. So, so far, we know the center is 0, 0. <coughs> right? Center is 0, 0. That's good. Now we need to determine what, the, what our a, b, and c are. Well, actually, we just need to determine what a and b are. Well, we know a is the distance from the center to the vertice, which we can just count is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we could say a equals 6. So you could say a squared equals 36. Now, we do have a little bit of an issue, though. Wait. Yes? I thought. So now we need, well, remember, now we need to find, we know what c is, right? Because c is the distance from the center to the foci. So c in this case is? C equals 8. But the problem is C is not in the formula, right? Oh, wait, yeah, that's what I'm but we have to apply the formula. How does A, B, and C relate to each other for a hyperbola? C squared equals A squared. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So C squared is 64 equals A squared, which is 6, I'm sorry, which is 36, plus B squared. So I subtract 36. <coughs> And I get 28 equals b squared. Right? OK. So now I know what b squared is. And that's all I need to know. And I know a squared. And I know center is 0, 0. So ladies and gentlemen, do you need me to write x minus 0, y minus 0? Or can I just write y, x squared and y squared? Is that OK now? Do you want me to write? OK. So we know h and k are 0 then, right? So x minus 0 squared over a squared, which is 36, minus y minus 0 squared over b squared, which is 28, equals 1. Well, now we can simple x minus 0, we just know is x, right? So x squared over 36 minus y squared over 28 equals 1. And there you go. That's it. Fine.
como, como se